हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम मिसेस वृशाली सहस्रबुद्धे फ्रॉम सेवा सदन इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल पुणे टुडे आई विल बी शेयरिंग विथ यू माय एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ टीचिंग द टॉपिक प्रेशर टू स्टैंडर्ड एट स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेसन चिल्ड्रन आर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड टू द फिजिकल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्रेशर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड दे विल ऑल्सो लर्न दैट प्रेशर इज ऑल्सो एक्सर्टेड बाय फ्लूड्स द एक्टिविटीज दैट आई यूज टू टीच दिस टॉपिक आर a setup of brick and flat bottle to relate area and pressure relating the height of a container and pressure exerted by fluids demonstrating that even gases flow through a simple toy called bye bye bottle but i wanted to introduce the concept of area as well so i discussed a few day to day examples with them i told them to observe the broad straps of their school bag and asked them what will happen if the straps are made thin i also asked them why the porters at the railway station or construction workers keep a roll of cloth on their head when they have to carry heavy loads on their heads to drive this point further i made them do a very simple activity i told the children that they have to hold a sharpened pencil this way they have to apply equal force on both the ends the sharp end and the blunt end then they have to observe their pointer fingers which one leaves a deeper mark students discussed that the force applied on both the ends is equal but the pressure is different but some students suggested that the deeper mark can be because of the sharpness of the object i wanted them to figure out the reason was the area and so i showed them this next activity take a big square plastic bottle and drill a hole in its cap insert the plastic tube in the hole of the cap and glue it fill the bottle with colored water to the brim and close the lid place the bottle horizontally on the table and mark the level of the water in the tube now place a brick horizontally on the bottle and mark the height of the water now place the brick vertically on the bottle and mark the height of the water students realized that the gravitational force acting on the brick is same in both the cases then i asked them what is the difference in the sides of the brick that was placed on the bottle it is now that the children figure out that by changing the area pressure also changes here i give them the definition of pressure as force upon area now we move on to the next concept pressure exerted by fluids i wanted to highlight that pressure depends on the height of the fluid inside the container for this i used two activities for this we need two bottles of the same size straws a pair of scissors and glue cut the straws in three ways two same sized small length one with medium length and the last with the longest length as shown in the picture make two holes in both bottle caps using scissors now fix the short straw in each bottle cap with one medium and one long straw fill the water up to the rim of the bottle and close the mouth of the bottle with a cap After the setup was ready before the demonstration I asked the students that if I have to turn the bottles upside down guess which bottle will empty first the students discussed amongst their respective groups and noted down the reasoning now turn both bottles upside down at the same time and hold it at the same base level observe the flow of the water which bottle gets empty first after the demonstration the students were surprised then i pointed out that the gravitational force and the cross sectional area of the straws was the same then why was the pressure different the students were puzzled so to make the concept more clear i demonstrated another activity for this we need a bottle with holes as shown in the picture keeping the straws closed with caps or fingers fill the bottle till the brim 
Remove the caps or release the fingers and observe the flow of water through all the three holes. The jet of water from three different holes falls at three different places. The jet from the lowest hole falls the farthest. My students themselves checked whether the straws were of equal length and whether they were aligned. They were now convinced that height is the determining factor. Similarly, for the previous activity, liquid experienced greater pressure where the straw was longer. To make the concept more clear, I told them to think about the human pyramid that is made during the Dahi Handi festival. The bottom layer faces more pressure than the upper layers. Then I asked my students, is it that fluids exert pressure in only one direction along the height? To find the answer to this, we performed one more activity. For this activity, we need bottles, hand glove, cello tape and a pair of scissors. Take a bottle and cut out the base of the bottle. Take a medical hand glove and tape it in the mouth of the bottle. Take a container filled with water. Insert the bottle in that container and observe the globe. It will inflate. My students enjoyed making the glove say hi and bye. So we called it a bye-bye bottle. With this activity, I realized the students' misconception that fluids mean only liquids. I told them that even gases are fluids because they flow. The children discussed amongst themselves and eventually understood that the glove inflated because of the pressure exerted by the air inside the submerged bottle. The children understood that fluids exert pressure on the walls of the container they are in. Previously, I used to teach this topic by providing definitions in statements and showing diagrams to explain the concept. By using activity-based teaching, I could act as a facilitator and help my students understand the concepts on their own. I found that when the students do the activities on their own, discuss among themselves, make measurements, draw conclusions, they can understand the topic in a much better way. I request all of you to include such activities in your day-to-day -day teaching and make the entire process enjoyable. For the detailed description of these activities, you can refer to the lesson plan given here. Thanks for watching.